my way to Latte Homes because I got a few appointments up there today. So welcome to my YouTube channel as I multitask my way through the next few days. This is a YouTube channel about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, and his stunningly beautiful, breathtakingly gorgeous wife, Megan, Duchess of Sussex. Uh, hold on a second, I have to stop this for one moment. Sorry about that. So, as I was saying, if you're new here, I talk about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, and definitely I'm a fan girl. So, I hope you are too. But if you are not, I feel bad for you. <laughs> but I welcome you anyway. So, yeah, today we're going to talk about Megan's outfit for the Kennedy Foundation Gala last night. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Yeah. So the first thing about it is that it's a Louis Vuitton dress and it was by Nicolas Jesquier for Louis Vuitton, which is a French fashion, luxury fashion label. So it apparently was the first time she wore Louis Vuitton to a major event like this and it was absolutely stunning. She was drop dead gorgeous. I mean, it was just crazy amazing. So, okay, so just in case you were not aware of the event last night, it was the Ripple of Hope Awards, which was uh, sponsored by the Kennedy, the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Foundation, um, which I think is headed by his daughter Carrie. And so Megan wore this beautiful custom Louis Vuitton dress, which was by Nicolas Jesquier, as I said. And it was this amazing off the shoulder. It's just, I don't know the fabric, but it was just amazing. It was sort of like a, a, a mashup of her wedding dress and that dress she wore with Queen Elizabeth that one time when they went on this trip to, um, on the train ride somewhere in England. I don't know if you remember that event, but it's sort of like those two and her wedding dress with that dress rolled up in one. So yeah, it's, it had that vibe of her wedding dress and you know, it was really sleek and like really minimalist and long with like an opening in the front so that when she sort of exited the, the limousine, her legs just went on for days and days and days in just perfection, elegant and sexy at the same time, which is really hard to do for most people but for her it just seemed so effortless and it was just it was really just something to, to behold trying to achieve here or maybe it's just their own sort of I feel like it there's no rhyme or reason to la Fonds so you know I mean not to criticize the French too much <laughs> they don't like to be criticized but I feel like they need a different planning it could be so much more interesting if they planned it differently anyway so we have a Christmas market. Is it paid or am I? I guess I have to show him my bag. Okay. Let's show him what's in my bag. Bonjour. 
What is it? Merci. Yeah, so. Okay, so one thing about the French or the Parisians, well, the French, it's all over the country. They just have all these Christmas markets that I just feel like Christmas is not the same without it. You know what I mean? So anyway, back to Megan's dress, okay? I think one of the, I mean, the whole thing was breathtaking. I couldn't even believe it. Like, I mean, I really don't have the words, you know what I mean? It was like, I saw her and I thought my head was going to blow up. It was like, oh my God, you know? I expected it to be wonderful, but I, um, I was really pleasantly, surprise bonjour <laughs> um, I was really pleasantly surprised by how amazing it was and um, like I mean it was beyond amazing there really are no merci <laughs> monsieur um, yeah well so I, I, I expected her to be amazing obviously but I mean it was it was so amazing that I really just didn't have the word. I was shocked. I was shocked by how much beauty could come out of one human being. And the choice of Princess Diana's aquamarine ring with that dress was just sublime. I mean it was crazy perfect. It was so beautiful and the thing about the whole thing it just gave me goosebumps because months ago when I heard that she and Harry were going to be honored at this event um, I wrote on my blog um, advisors for Megan and Harry that I thought she should wear white and I said that I thought she should wear a, an one shouldered or something either one shouldered or no shoulder dress i don't remember exactly what i said but i wanted to see some shoulder action in this dress white and voila voila elegant etc but then what happened was kate middleton the princess of wales wore white to um the event where they um what you call it they had with the south african president about six weeks ago and the style was you know identical to the black dress that megan wore to um that megan wore to queen elizabeth's funeral and i just thought okay this is like a competition and i you know i mean it's not like i'm, I'm anti-competition but you know i don't want to have that kind of spirit and like you know whatever so i was like when she wore that white dress, I thought, oh no, now Megan can't wear white to this event, even though I had said that she should wear white before Kate wore white. Okay, so then I started thinking, well, what other color could she wear? Then they had these two events back to back where Megan wore the green dress and then days later Kate wore the, um, Kate wore the, the green dress on the green carpet it was a lot of green actually it was a lot of green and um i just thought oh my god if megan wears a white dress they're going to say that megan was trying to be like kate because i said yeah da, 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 da. so make a long story short i started to brainstorm what else could she wear i couldn't figure out anything else at all that she could wear like red no green no black no white now because Kate wore the dress but I'm like you know what who cares just wear the dress but then I thought you know why doesn't she wear like a um a baby blue dress and well, she didn't wear baby blue dress she wore the white dress with a baby blue ring and I just thought I thought my head was going to explode I thought my head was going to explode because I thought oh my god this woman thinks like I do she really does like I mean it's like it's like she's my sister from like another life or something you know my head was gonna just absolutely explode what are they eating I don't know what should I get like a hot wine or something but um yeah 
Yeah, it was amazing. She was amazing. Don't you think she was absolutely breathtaking? Honestly, it was like, oh my God. this Christmas tree. In fact, that tree might be taller than me. And this tree, just for scale, okay? I've got to get some glue to put my um, my reindeer back together again. What do you suppose this is? I'm kind of like, if I sit on it, I'll be arrested kind of thing. <laughs> no, we're adults. Yes, so I guess I'm going to run out of juice in two seconds. So I just wanted to say thank you for listening. I just wanted to share my thoughts on Megan's look last. And Harry too. Harry, I didn't forget about you. You were gorgeous. Oh my God, together you were gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Okay, so yeah. See you in the next one. Take care. Make sure you enjoy your holidays. Let me go try to see what I can get. Maybe a hot chocolate or something. Okay. Take care. Bye.